ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seeks of All Ages, Coaster Chow here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update, and a very, very sad one from the UK, the Carter Steam Fair, I love the look of this, it's been one of my bucket list, tri list trips um, around the UK, the Carter Steam Fair, classic fair, love the look of it, and this year's its final tour. I can't believe it. Now, before we get started, make sure you do like the video if you loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe if you're new around here. Click the notification bell so you never miss a video. Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas. And for now, guys, let's have a look at exactly what's going on with the final tour of the Carter Steam Fair. What? So the official statement on the Carter's website. After much consideration and research, we've taken the decision that 2022 will be our final tour. Having toured our unique range of vintage fairground rides and vehicles around the UK for the last 45 years, it is now time for a new chapter. We are looking for a permanent home and a new owner for the fair. When John and Anna Carter, Joby Carter's parents, started the fair back in 1977, they wanted it to be for the many and not the few. They were passionate about preserving fairground history at the time when other showmen were chasing the latest styles and innovations. In 2000, John sadly passed away after a 12-month battle with cancer. His meticulous attention to detail and the premium values of the legacy that defines us as a family and as a business today. Thanks to the support of our extended Carter's family and our loyal fans, the fair has become so much bigger than John could ever have expected. Uh, now, with great success, of course comes great responsibility. It's like that old amazing Spider-Man no way home quote, with great power comes great responsibility. With great success comes great responsibility. As private keepers of heritage, we have invested thousands of hours over the years to ensure that these rides could be enjoyed by so many. We spared no expense on restoring these rides to the condition they once were when they were new, even painting by hand and using real gold leaf. The interest in the fair is unique artwork has never been higher. We're in a bumper year in 2021 with over 100,000 visitors. We expect to see even more visitors in 2022. The fair is an immaculate condition which presents an ideal opportunity for someone else to take over. We've been looking for a suitable land for the fair to be placed on and have talked to the council and other landowners around the UK. As a family run business with expertise in restoration and travel in the fair, we have done our best to familiarise ourselves with the endless details of planning laws, highway regulations and heritage and culture grants. But it is an enormous task that we simply cannot do alone. We are now facing the reality that the best future for the fair is for it to be rehomed on a permanent site and operated by someone else. We are keen that the new owners will ensure our beloved collection of iconic fairground rides and side store games that we've created over the years will continue to be enjoyed as an irreplaceable piece of British living history for generations to come. For Carters, it's time to pass the baton and let someone else continue the magic. If you think about visiting us this year, our 2022 tour will carry on as planned to each location as we have published. Please take as many photos and videos as you can and make some lovely memories with your family. Tag us with hashtag Carters2022 so we can join in the fun. For those of you who haven't made the plans to visit yet, we hope that by sharing this update today we can ensure that no one feels they will miss out. They are open at Pinkney's Green this weekend and hosting our final vintage vehicle parade on Saturday at 10am. Uh, take the time to watch if you can. We have an event planned until October, which you can see on the website. We have a free entry all day at every location and free rides when you book online. In terms of what parts of the fair are for sale, the sale of Carter Steam Fair represents a rare investment opportunity. Typically, vintage fairground rides are bought when they're in need of restoration and vintage rides are rarely sold as a collection. This is the first time an immaculate vintage fun fair has been sold ready to operate. With a guide price of £2.5 million, our collection includes 13 fair, vintage fairground rides and a selection of side stall games, which date from the 1890s to the 1960s. They've all been faithfully restored using traditional techniques and are in pristine condition. There is an email, if anyone's watching this video right now and just learning about this news, and you want to buy Carter's Fair, the email is sales at cartersfair.com. That is sales at cartersfair.com.
In the last 10 years, the fair has become a recognised brand with a global fan base of over 90,000 followers in social media. In peak months, we reached 1 million fans on social media with our live videos and photos of the fair and its restoration. We are the go-to vintage fun fair for film and TV producers, featuring in Paddington 2, Rocket Man, Wurzel Gummidge, as well as various TV adverts from well-known brands including Sky Mobile and Boots. All this means the fair is a viable business for someone else to take over. Now, what about the Carter family? Alongside managing the 2022 tour, this year the Carter's team will coordinate the sale of the rise of the attractions ready for the new owner. After that, Joby Carter plans to increase his focus on the traditional art of sign writing, ensure that the skills are kept alive and appreciated by even wider audiences. To date, he's sold over 6,000 copies of his book, Sign Writing Tips, Tricks and Inspiration, which was published during the pandemic and thousands of people have joined his sign writing courses online and in person. Sign writing has become a social media sensation in its own right. Fans around the world watch Joby Carter paint the iconic lettering styles by hand on TikTok and Instagram. Popular culture is also reflecting on the growing popularity of this art. Joby's hand-painted lettering was recently commissioned by Jules Holland for his latest album, Pianola, Piano and Friends. Please join us at the event and make 2022 our best year ever. Thank you very much. Joby and Georgina Carter on behalf of the Carter's family and team. Well, that, my friends, is the official statement from Carter's uh, website. Now let's share my thoughts on this news. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages. That is the news that Carter's family has decided to put the fair up for sale for a permanent home. Now, first, before I say anything on this news, that statement alone from the website... Deserves a round of applause. It really, really does. When I was reading that, then I had a lump in my throat because um, these people care so much about this industry that we all love and we've all grown to love. Um, and to be honest with you, if it wasn't for the fairgrounds, we wouldn't have had the massive theme parks we've got today, such as Alton Towers, Thorpe Park, Chessington the Six Flags parks, the Cedar Fair parks. If it wasn't for the classic amusement parks and the classic fairgrounds uh, and the side store games and things like that, we wouldn't have what we've got in major locations across the UK today and around the world. So, you know, it's, it's things like Carters that make you really, really treasure the most important things, the most crucial things in this industry. And it's heritage. That's one thing that Blackpool Pleasure Beach does very, very well. A lot of parks around the world do very, very well. Heritage. Heritage, heritage, heritage. Restoring the old, operating it for as long as you possibly can. And it makes a park stand out. It makes a fair stand out by a mile. A million, million miles. Firstly, I want to say my absolute respect to the Carter family and the Carter's fun f uh, Steam Fair team um, for taking the step, for making this announcement. Um, next, I want to say to Joby Carter, well done. You've done exceptionally well. Your parents will be proud of you. Um, your parents also did a wonderful job. Um... To everyone involved in that team, you are incredible, you are amazing, and you can bet your lucky backside I will try and get down there for a Carter Steam Fair at some point this year. Even I have even even if I have to walk for hours trying, I will do it. I will find the nearest location to me and I will experience that Carter Steam Fair, vlog it get it up on this channel and this is the reason why I wanted to do this video about this news today not just because the fact it was a theme park news and update and this was a bit of breaking news from the UK but also if anyone's watching this and you, and it, you know what if someone was watching this and they had a passion for theme parks and they had a few million bob to, to put into a permanent site to buy this steam fair and put it in a permanent site you know it's videos like this that are important to get people's attention about things on offer, things that are available to buy, the history behind it. Don't buy it just to ruin its legacy. Please don't do that, because it's things like that that really wind me up. Same with me with football. 
you know, if, if people bought a football club and then ruined its legacy by taking the club down and down and down and down and, you know, s stripping the profits off it, that's what makes me mad more than anything. People using passion for enthusiasm, fans of whatever genre, whatever category, whatever industry, fans' passion being stripped away for profit by bad, bad businessmen that don't care about the industry that they're investing in. That's the one thing that really boils my blood. And people know that for a fact from football and also theme parks as well. You know, when like Water Valley got gets mismanaged, you know I got mad about that. Drake Manor going to administration, I felt so sorry for the owners, you know, that it had to come to this and you know, what we'd all been through during the pandemic and Wixty Park going to, into administration and having to, you know, rely on people to help put money towards Wixty Park and try and save the park and this whole pandemic and what the government did with the pandemic and, you know, the fact they never treated us with any respect and, you know, things happen like this when people go into administration, file bankruptcy, it's hard, man. And, you know, stuff like... The ownership of, you know, people know my thoughts on football and stuff like that. But when owners don't respect the clubs that they're running, it really boils my blood. So, with this one, you know you know I have a passion for the industry. And, that, and you know that I want to see an owner come into Carter Steam Fair with an absolute passion for the amusement park industry. I want someone to really run it, keep restoring it, keep running it, keep putting up to the high standards that we know it can be. And Carter Steam Fair for me could live on for a good few decades more, uh, at least. So, this was a major, major, major news update today. And uh, like I said, my thoughts go out to the Carter's family because you've done an amazing job. You really, really have. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, I am Coach Shell, Kill on the Coast Live. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Carter-tastic day. Mm -hmm.